My name's Aaron with Exterior Pro, and in today's video, we're gonna show you two of our best metal roof repair options. Stick around, and we'll show you what it's all about. All right, so what I wanna do, I wanna start the video with uh, what the options for metal roof repair are. And you can see behind me, we've got a white membrane over the metal, and then we have the metal mock-up. This would be the existing metal roof, and then we have a metal over metal uh, section here. So we're gonna be talking about two types of metal roof repair. Both of these are long-term repair, and it's, it's a recover. One of them is gonna be recovering the existing metal with a membrane, and one of them is gonna be recovering the existing metal with another piece of metal, and it's called the 238T, it's a standing seam. So we have both options here in front of you, and they're both recovery options for your existing metal building, and one's a membrane option, and one's a metal over metal option. The next thing I wanna talk about is who these options are for. In some of our previous videos, I had not been as clear as to who these types of metal roof repair options are geared towards. So I wanted, to, I wanted to be clear on that. These options are primarily designed for pre-engineered steel buildings. So these are gonna be metal buildings that have metal purlings and metal roofing on top of them. These are not options for uh, wood, wood deck or wood frame buildings. These, are, these ideas are tailored, these solutions are tailored towards the, the pre-engineered steel building. So I, you know, we get some comments about the wood in the mock-ups. We just happen to build our mock-ups out of wood because we're not gonna weld up a steel frame to do a mock-up for a YouTube video. But the, the solutions that we're gonna show you, that's mainly who they're for. So if you have a, a, a leaky metal roof over a wood deck, we have other videos and other solutions, but these two solutions, these recovery ideas, are primarily for steel buildings. So that's, that's we wanna we want to cover that. All right, next I wanna talk about why we have come up with these solutions. In our area, we're located in Southern Indiana and we service all of Indiana, Kentucky, and the top part of Tennessee. So in our area, one of the major drivers of our roofing business is leaky metal roofs on steel buildings. So we needed to come up with some solutions to provide to building owners that were long-term, that were actually gonna stop the leaks. And these are the two solutions after years of doing this, we have come up with, we've landed on the two solutions that we, we feel like are the most best and economical and the best for the value solution for a steel building. So that's, that's kind of why we do what we do. It's our number one, number one uh, source of roofing calls, in, in, at least in our area, is the, the steel buildings that have leaky metal roofs. So let's get right into the, the options and we'll look at each one and, and how they might fit into your, your building. All right, so here is a membrane recover of a metal roof, and we're gonna show you how this is done. Now, a lot of people don't know that you could recover a metal roof at all, uh, and you can, you can recover metal with metal or metal with membrane, and they don't know you could recover at all, and they especially don't understand how you could recover an existing metal roof like this with a membrane. So that's kind of the point of the video, is to show you and introduce you to this idea, which is a very simple idea, and it's a very effective way to dry in a building. So it, it would start off like this, your, your, existing, your existing metal flute is, is gonna be based on a profile. We're gonna cut insulation to that profile and we're gonna lay it in the basically the, the, the cavity of the metal and it's gonna come up basically flush with the profile of the metal. So this can vary. There's, there's several different types of profiles that are common to our area and we just adjust the insulation thickness and width and height to fit the profile. And then basically I'll lift up this membrane. After we have the, the flute, this is called the flute, the gap. After we have the flute, filled in with a piece of insulation. Then we're gonna take another piece of rigid insulation, roofing insulation, and we're gonna lay it out, and you can see it up top. We're just gonna recover the entire surface of the metal with a piece of rigid insulation, and we're gonna screw that down right to your existing metal roof. So we're gonna prep the surface by flattening it out. So that's how we're gonna get a nice flat surface is the flute fill in the cavity or in the, the belly or pan of the metal, and then we're gonna recover the flute fill with a piece of rigid insulation, and now we've got a nice flat surface. After we have the surface flattened out of your existing metal roof, we're gonna take the piece of the membrane, and we're basically gonna 
I'm going to lift that up. We're basically going to screw down the membrane in rolls straight through the membrane, through the insulation, into the metal roofing, and then we're going to we're going to take another roll of the membrane and we're going to lay it over top of the line of fasteners and we're going to hot air weld sealing off the the line of screws so you're going to you're going to take a, a heat gun a hot air a welder and you're going to weld this down and this is going to make a seam and that's how the screws are not going to be exposed the screws are going to be underneath the seam of the next sheet so that's the idea behind the membrane this is going to continue all the way to the ridge and over to the other side so it's a very simple idea and it's a very effective way Way to stop leaks permanently on a metal building. Now before we move on to the metal over metal recover, I wanted to just touch on what the gutter detail for the membrane over metal looks like and I wanted to just show it to you real quick. So here we've got a piece of gutter and this is, we, we like to fabricate and install new gutters when we do any recover, but it's not, it's not a must on the membrane over metal, it kind of is on the metal over metal, but if you did fabricate new gutters, this is kind of what it would look like. You're going to bring the membrane down and you're going to turn it into the gutter gutter. So if you, if you look here, our gutter comes all the way up and it's sitting back here on a wood nailer that we installed at the edge of the roof and our, and our gutter comes up and has an L shape on it and it sits right on that. Our membrane comes down, we back seal behind the membrane with caulking and then we run termination bar which compresses the caulking and makes a seal and then we run our gutter hangers into the term bar just like this so that even if the gutters of the building get clogged up or filled up with ice or snow or you don't clean them like which is pretty common the, the, the stuff in the gutters is not going to back up and go up into the eave of the building cause leaks on the walls so that's the gutter detail and that's that's how you would terminate the membrane into the gutter on a metal or a membrane over metal recover all right, so for option two of the recover video here that we're doing, we're gonna show you a metal over metal recover. So we just showed you about how you could recover your existing steel building with membrane. Now we're gonna show you how you can recover your existing steel building, the existing metal, leaving it in place. You can recover that with another piece of metal. And we've got a special metal that we use to recover buildings. So it's not just any metal, it's the 238T and we manufacture this panel right on your job site and it's full length so we run a full length from the eave all the way to the ridge and we lay this metal on top of your existing metal and I'm going to show you how that's done. If you look right here we've got a clip and you can look up the edge of this piece. This is how that this metal would attach to your existing building. We're going to imagine that your steel purlings are running every, sometimes they're 42, sometimes they're 60 inches on center, but let's, let's imagine this is your steel purling. We're going to shoot this clip, we're going to shoot this clip straight down through your existing metal and into the existing purling on the building. That is how that this 238T is going to attach to your structure. And we're gonna hit every purling going all the way up, and then we're gonna set the ridge and go to the other side. So that's the idea. That's how you would go about doing a recover, a metal over metal recover. And uh, I'm gonna show you a clip now, and, and you'll, you'll have an idea of what it is. All right, so here's, the, here's what the clip looks like. Here's a clip installed, and here's a clip so you can see it and what it is it's got a shelf on the side and it holds the panel up above the profile so there's several different types of high clips and this particular high clip is designed to sit above this R panel. This is a very common steel building panel that we find in our area and basically all throughout the United States and this clip is designed to recover R panel so it's going to allow the metal to sit on this shelf and be above this and now the same flute fill that we used on the flat roofing or the, the membrane roofing side, we're going to use that same flute fill on this side and we're going to use it in the middle of the panel. We're not going to use it where the clips are, but we're going to use it in the pan where there's no clips just to give this panel a little more support. So th these, these will span, but we like to put this flute fill inside. So this, this actually, this flute fill will be used in both systems. And then uh, it'll give this metal a little bit of support. So when you're walking, you're installing, you don't dent or, or kink the panel. And then finally, the, 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 the next point that I would say about the metal over metal is this 238T is, is special for a variety of reasons. And we've got several other videos about this metal and, and, and more in detail. 
it, that are particular to the metal itself, but I want to touch on it now. It's a neutral side, so each side of the metal is the same, and it gets a seam cap. This seam cap is what grabs the two uh, neutral sides of the panel and crimps them together and then this is a mechanically seamed panel so can go down to quarter on 12 so very low slope steel buildings this panel stays watertight you can see another seam cap here and we've let them run a little bit long because these gutters these seam caps actually get turned down and bent and we'll bend these and turn these into your gutter strap so these will also will have a gutter hanger but we'll use this and it'll it'll get screwed to the front of your gutter as an additional support so this is a great this is a great system to recover a leaky existing metal roof all right guys so in this video we've shown you a couple of metal roof repair options we've shown you the membrane over metal recover and the metal over metal recover and we've introduced you to the ideas of how they would happen and it's a, both of them are pretty simple ideas and they're very effective ideas. So the next question you might have is, well, which system would be right for your building? Well, we don't have the answer to that, but we would be happy to come out and walk your property with you and see which option might be the best fit for your budget, but also for the, the structure of your building. There, there are gonna be certain applications where the membrane is gonna be better, and then there's gonna be certain applications where the metal may be better, and we're happy to help with you with, with that and then determining which, which system of recover might be best for you. So guys, like and subscribe to the videos. If you want to have more of these videos and learn more, we're going to do uh, some cost comparisons on what the two systems would cost in the future and a couple of more uh, videos about the details and the flashings for each one. And uh, we'll, we'll see you in the future.